Here's an automatic flywheel in my collection. It's made by Martin. You might recognize it. You see them all the time in flea markets. This one was patented in 1923. And uh, when you want it to pull the line in, you just press down on this lever and it would draw in the line. And uh, it would build tension by pulling the line out in fly fishing, or if you needed to, you could wind up the spring manually like that. These were preceded historically by a different sort of reel uh, that looked like this. This has a very old look to it. It's made by Yaman and Herb, patented in the 1880s. And their spring was wound up with this key like this. And uh, it does the same thing. It rotates. <laughs> they came in several sizes. This, the one I'm holding now, is the largest. Then there's a medium size and a small size. Those are sizes A, B, and C of the Almond and Herb Keywind reels. They were uh, followed by Horrocks and Ibbotson. They made the same types of reels but under a different brand name. Uh, before the Keywind version, the earlier versions looked like this. They had no key. Function is really the same except that you pull the fly line out in order to build the spring pressure. The, one of the other differences with these older reels is that uh, whereas the ones with the keys have a housing around the spring, the springs on these earlier models without the key wind uh, are, are bare. They have no housing, so you can see the spring. And those are kind of cool. Before these came a brass model, or maybe coincidentally with the uh, keyless, there were several models, brass um, and uh, actually rubber made by the predecessor company Loomis.